Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today I feel particularly mysteriously smoky and dark <laughs> as we talk today about the brand new Shantakai Black Jaguar Eye Quartet. We are going to open up this little baby. We are going to look at it in two different lightings, try it on, and talk about it. But we have to get something out of the way first. Maybe it's not important to you, but I have fun with it. How do you say the name of this animal? Do you make it two syllables or three? You need to tell me in comments. To you, is this a black jaguar or is this a black jaguar? Weigh in, two syllables or three syllables. You know I don't want you to just sit there and watch. You're here, you gotta participate. All right, so I wanna know that, but let's talk about the gorgeous palette, which supports the Amazon Sacred Headwaters Initiative uh, from Shantikai. Um, Shantikai, of course, is very famous uh, for the donations they make to charitable causes, especially with animals and endangered species. Um, this one is the Black Jaguar Eye Quartet. There's also a lipstick that goes with it that I didn't pick up. Let me know if you think I should have. And of course the Cougar palette, which was released right along the same time and its lip set, this was the more interesting shade combination to me. That's why I decided to try this out uh, rather than this and the Cougar. As they are $75, I did decide just to pick one. Um, let's look at it first in in the, uh, I've spread them out a little bit here, making a mess playing with them. Let's look at them first in the pan uh, for $75. We have four matte creamy chrome and gentle shimmer shades. They all apply beautifully to the eye. Let me try to, oh, there we go. Let's get them in the right light for you to see them there. Really pretty. I really like how this shade wants to lean warm, but then kind of goes cool with the other shades. It really is a winner for those of you who are part of the, what I like to call the cool tone revolution. A beautiful, cooling, dark, smoky. I feel it's kind of an evening palette, but it doesn't have to be. Let's look at some swatches first. Here they are on my arm in studio lighting. Take a look at these four shades. I think they show up even quite nicely in studio lighting. Now to go along with our dark black jaguar theme, I'm actually filming at night. To be honest, it has nothing to do with it. I just was super busy during the day with work, so I had to film at night. So here we are in some white bright light, almost mimicking daylight, but you know, not daylight. Here in, at night, I like to say in the warm California sunshine, so we will say in the warm California white light at night. That is not going to become a catchphrase, but just take a look at that there just to show it to you in a more natural lighting i wish it were sunlight just can't always catch the sunlight i tried but it it ran away from me all right uh we are going to try to recreate the look that you see right here right now we're going to use all four of the shades and i want to see what you think so stay right there let's do a quick look with this black jaguar eye quartet of course it's going to be a quick look I really don't do anything but quick look because it's kind of my style. So we're going to use some Wayne Goss brushes today with this little fella. And I'm going to start right here with the Wayne Goss number 16 in this beautiful shade right here. Um, kind of the most neutral of the palette. I am not often drawn to blacks and blues together in an eye palette, but something about this was so unique. I just, well, I had to get my paws on it. <laughs> a jaguar joke. Okay, so I'm just putting this all over the eyelid and as you see also into the crease on both eyes. And I'm going to switch right here to a Wayne Goss number seven so that I can go into the exact same shade and go under the eye. Okay, and now we're going to switch to a Wayne Goss number 20. And now is when I want to try this gorgeous blue shade. And I'm just gently tapping, brushing off some of the pigment onto the palette itself. And just trying to do the outer edge of the eye in this very, very beautiful blue shade. The outer edge of the eye, including the crease, and these are all so creamy, but even though I have hooded eyes, and I mention that so much uh, because there's 
so many of us who do, I don't find that this is causing any sort of trouble or problems on the eye. I think it's blending really well and almost coming off on the eyelid like a bit of a smoky gray shade. Going back in uh, with the 16 that I had just used because I just want something just a little bigger and fluffier on that. And it's just kind of a really just smoky gray blue look, which is very pretty. I'm not sure yet what to do with the black shade, but I really want to play with this silver using my finger right here. And that silver really is picking up the blue underneath it and making almost a kind of blue silver, which is really pretty and very cool toned. Okay, I have an idea. And my idea involves a, a uh, Wayne Goss number 19. I'm going to go into this. You can line with this, but I really don't line on my eyes. I don't have a ton of lid space. So I'm instead just going to just deepen the very, very outer, 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 outer corners of the eye, which I think is actually really pretty. And even a little bit kind of just underneath the outer corner. It, it needs a lot, a lot, a lot of black eyeliner and some really nice, nice, black mascara, but it kind of has that mysterious kind of feel, maybe it's in my imagination, of a jaguar <laughs> going through the jungle. Maybe it's in my head, but I kind of feel it. All right, let me get some mascara on to complete the look, and then let's chat about this. Too. We are back with the finished look, a very, very smoky little number jaguar-like little number. A really unique eyeshadow palette. I love the artwork, of course, as many say about Shantikai, and the fact that the, it benefits the Amazon Sacred uh, Headwaters Initiative uh, that Shantikai so proudly, proudly hails. Uh, it is a beautiful palette. It's very unique, very smoky. You have to really like a kind of smoky gray blue eye. There are some palettes certainly by Dior and Chanel that could rival it um, that come to mind off the top of my head. I'm sure maybe you can come up with some others. So in that sense, I suppose it is not as unique as, you know, I, for me, I think it's really unique. I like the kind of warm, that slight cool, slight warmth of this shade combined with the coolness of the other shades. I think it's just a little bit different. Um, I think the shadows apply beautifully. I love how the silver shade uh, right here goes over the other shades and just kind of makes, lets the shade underneath them kind of shine through and become a more shimmery silver version of themselves. I think that is beautiful and really well thought out. I am not going to go into price. Certainly it is $75 and some will say that they do not want to budget for that, which I completely understand. Um, but it, it's not something we really go into on this channel. As I like to say, I am not your bank manager. So you will have to decide um, for yourself on that one if it is worth it. Um, certainly a luxury experience from packaging into usage. But also look, I mean, I really do think this is a very very pretty, very sophisticated, smoky look that could easily work for day, but for me will definitely be a nighttime palette. So I suppose it's good that I happen to be filming at night. All right, let me know, did you pick this up or the Cougar? Did you get the lipstick? I actually did not uh, pick up the lipstick with this and perhaps I should have. So you can let me know if you think I should have. Tell me what you think, you know, just because I'm not really going into whether or not, you know, your expenses or whether you should budget for this. What do you guys think? Um, I would just love, love to know, you know, because this is a discussion and it is about community. So let me know your thoughts on all things pricing and on the shades in this, the Cougar version, the lip version and what you thought of the Jaguar. Plus, don't forget to weigh in on whether or not you make the animal two or three syllables. That's important stuff. Is it Jaguar or is it Jaguar? You gotta let me know. Definitely tell me in comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. Hey, if you haven't already done so, my goodness, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so we can continue growing and spreading the word. And if you are so moved, I would love to have you follow me over on Instagram and TikTok too. I hope to see all of you in the next video. Bye-bye.